Greetings, I am Dr. Is Monish Balaji and today we will be speaking about Kiro's staging. This image shows Dr. Predrag Kiros, a Croatian physician and later professor of medicine at the University of Zagreb. He was the one who brought about this method of classification of the depth of the olfactory fossa so as to aid in more safer sinus surgery. The basics of this staging system, they are the roof of the ethmoid is composed of a thicker horizontal orbital plate of the frontal bone and a thinner vertical lateral cribriform plate lamella known as LCPL. The orbital plate comprises most of the ethmoid roof with the LCPL forming a small medial portion. The height of the LCPL defines the depth of the olfactory cleft where the dura is closely adherent to the bone. The thickness of the LCPL ranges from 0.05 mm to 0.2 mm and provides little resistance to injury. So what is the importance of this staging system? They are that the increasing depths of the olfactory cleft correlate with a higher risk of inadvertent injury during surgery. The injury may result in a CSF leak, pneumocephalus or intracranial bleeding. Kiro's classification divides the ethmoid roof into three configurations, namely type 1 which is shallow that is 1 to 3 millimeters, type 2 which is medium 4 to 7 millimeters and type 3 which is deep 8 to 16 millimeters. Which of these is high risk? The type 3 configuration being the deepest is at greatest risk for complications during endoscopic endonasal surgery. Thank you.